every World Cup, FIFA releases a special cover for the game, most of which feature a player or two. So today, I'm going to build a team of the best World Cup cover stars, starting all the way back in 1998. And as you can see, FIFA 1998 had David Beckham on the front cover, so he's going to be the first player in our team. This pretty much looks identical to the Beckham that was on the cover, so we're going to add him to the team. 280,000 coins, David Beckham, get in a squad. Now to move on to the next cover and unlock the rest of the team, I have to complete a challenge. And if I fail the challenge, there are some expensive forfeits I have to do. Firstly, Beckham needs a team, and this pack's going to decide the rest of the team. Might as well start off with a good player and let's walk out. French, centre forward. Oh, Christopher and Cuckoo. That's not bad. And that's the team from the plays we just packed. Let's get on to the first challenge. Beckham is known for his long shots. So for the first challenge, we have to score a goal outside the box. And the first attempt wasn't the best. But we hope no oh! Neither was the second or even the third for that fact. But on the fourth attempt, it was about to change. Beckham, oh my word. And when David Beckham gets it right, you just don't stop that. It's absolutely unbelievable. Also, I thought. But then on the fifth attempt, we finally scored the long Let's shot. Go! Come on! It took a while, but we completed that challenge, which means we can move on to the next cover star. And from the looks of it, it looks as if there's no players on the 2002 World Cup. I mean, it would have been nice if that was the cover. To be fair, though. So as there's no cover star on the 2002 World Cup cover, we're going to add the original 2002 cover star, which is Thierry Henry. 310,000 coins. <laughs> And if you want to be able to afford players like Thierry Henry, then make sure to check out U7Buy for cheap and reliable foot coins and use my code SIM2 for an extra 5% off. On top of that, U7Buy giving away 5 million coins and all you have to do is comment down below Henry at U7Buy and I'll post the giveaway link in the pinned comment. Moving on to challenge number two, we're going to get Thierry Henry his first international hat trick because fun fact, although he's the all-time top goal scorer for France, well, not anymore because Giroud just overtook him, he has actually never scored a hat trick. And as soon as the game started, we had this opportunity. This is going to be his first hat trick. Oh my god! He fluffed the final shot and I could have scored within a minute. But straight after, we got that goal. Henri! Let's go! That's one. You're gonna t it. Oh! And then the second goal followed. Let's go! Number two! He drives, he shoots, he scores! He shoots, he scores right up the floor. And there we have it, Thierry Henry collecting the match ball. He's got his first international hat trick. We completed that challenge, which means we get to move on to the next World Cup, which is 2006. And as you can see, I have this one in hand. And on the front, we have Lampard. If you turn to the back, there's also a few other players like this guy, Zidane, and there's even Podolski. But we also have these two guys who, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't actually know who they are. So I'm going to try and find out. The Mexican guy is Jamie Lozano. The USA guy is Claudio Reyna, which is interesting because there's two players with those exact names on the game. And as you can see, we have Lozano on the game, although it's not the same Lozano. He's still Lozano and he's Mexican. So we're going to add him to the team. 113,000 coins, Lozano. Welcome to the squad. And then we're going to add Claudio Reina's son, which is actually Giovanni Reina. So it makes sense. We're just going to add his son to the team. Giovanni, welcome to the team. We're meant to be adding the cover stars, so I guess we've got to add Lampard to the team. Lampard, welcome to the squad. For the next challenge, as we added three new players, we have to score three different types of goals. Lampard needs to score a long shot, Reina needs to score a finesse, and Lozano needs to score a chip. And straight away, Reina got his finesse. <laughs> I thought I missed. Let's go, we got the finesse. And then Lozano tried his chip, but he missed horribly. Why was it so powerful? However, the second time's a charm, and he got his chip. Bring him out! Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We've now got the chip. We just need the long shot from Lampard. And with Lampard's first long shot, he did this. Oh, but I didn't have to wait long as Lampard scored his second long shot. Oh my God, we done it. We completed that challenge, which means we're moving on to the next World Cup cover, which is 2010. And as you can see, this was the 2010 FIFA World Cup cover. Probably one of my favorite ones, if I'm honest. And also, this game mode was so good. However, there's no players on it. As there's no one on the cover of this one, we're going to have to go for the original FIFA 10 cover, which is this. And as you can see, there are three players on it. Rooney, Lampard, and Walcott. So what we're going to do is we're going to add Rooney to the team. But we're also going to add a South African player because I feel like they deserve it. Especially because that World Cup was so good. What the hell is even that? Do I have Rooney in the club? I do. I know it's not the best Rooney that's available, but we're going to add him to the team. And then let's add the best South African player on the game. Zwane on the bench you go. Moving on to the next challenge, and it's obviously focusing on Rooney. And Rooney's notoriously known for one goal. He's known for more than one good goal, but there's one goal in particular, his bicycle kick. 
So for the next challenge, we have to score a bicycle kick. If we concede a goal before I complete this challenge, it's over. And straight off the bat, I'd conceded and we failed the challenge in the first minute. And to make it even worse, my opponent decided to gritty on me. It's time for our first forfeit and it's a big one. I just know it's going to be good. Oh, it's not that good. It is as base as it can get. get See you later, Cap Devia. We failed that challenge horribly. So we're moving on to the next World Cup. And that is 2014. Is this genuine? No. Neymar, Sito, Yaya, Torre, Mario, Gotze, Clint Dempsey. Was this a genuine cover or not? Kaka. As there's no definitive cover because there's so many, we're going to add a 2014 winner to the team. That's the game where Mario Gotze became a hero, winning the game for Germany. And as you can see, we need some defenders. So I'm going to add one of the best ever German defenders to the team. And that is Philly. Lam, welcome to the squad. And as the World Cup was held in Brazil, we're going to chuck in a cheeky Brazilian to the bench. And I'm doing that because I just packed him and I want to see him on the team. Get in. There are two more covers remaining, which means we have two more challenges. For the penultimate challenge, I have to score without shooting. I thought this challenge would be difficult, but clearly not. My opponent was a schmuck and let me run into the back of the net. <laughs> you idiot! I dare you to rage quit. Oh, the sweatiest of sweaties, but I ran it into the net. So it counts. Well, that was easy. Time to move on to the next cover. We are now moving on to FIFA 18, baby. And as you can see, Ronaldo was the cover star for Portugal. So we need to add him to the team. Now, I got to try and figure out how we're going to squeeze Ronaldo into this team because this is looking impossible. It's not looking good, bro. Lampard's going to have to play centre-back for the time being because we have to add Cristiano Ronaldo to the team. What? 78,000 coins for Ronaldo. Think about next year when Ronaldo moves to the Saudi Arabian team. He is going to be absolute fodder. Welcome to the squad. We're now moving on to the final challenge, which is inspired by the 2022 World Cup. And as there's been so many penalties in the World Cup so far, I'm going to have to win this last game by penalty only. And straight off the bat, I conceded, meaning I have to get a goal before I can score a penalty. And that goal followed shortly after. And then I conceded this free kick, putting the pressure on as time was ticking on and I needed to score another goal. My opponent then decided to sweat it against me, making it 3-1 and it was not looking good. And I took that personally, scoring back-to-back -back goals with Ronaldinho to put me level again. All I needed now was the penalty. And I kid you not, two minutes later, this happened. Pen! Pen! Oh my god! This is it. This is actually it. It's 3-3. Free free. I have to score the pen to win. Everything had led up to this one moment. Score this, I complete the challenge, miss this, and I'm a failure. No! No! Oh, I fluffed it, haven't I? Pen! And in the last touch of the game, Ronaldo did this. I just rainbow flicked the keeper to win the game. I know it wasn't a penalty, but surely I just redeemed myself there. Can I count that? Comment down below. Does that count? A forfeit's a forfeit. I didn't win the game by penalty, so we're going to have to discard this 100k pack. It's a walkout. Milinkovic Savage. Get it! And this is the official FIFA 23 World Cup cover. There's no players on it, so we're just going to leave it there. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy this. Click here to watch that.